So we're going to have a look at an example of a free radical substitution and like in the last video we are going to look at um, the reaction between chlorine and methane but this time we are going to get the chance to use some curly arrows and look at how to do that. So we're going to start with chlorine molecule. So two chlorine atoms joined by a covalent bond. And you remember from the video that this is the bond that breaks because this bond has a lower energy than the carbon hydrogen bond. So I'm going to put on the electrons here. So we've got our um, two electrons, our shared pair of electrons in the chlorine chlorine bond. And if you remember, the um, UV light from the sun breaks this bond by homolytic fission. And that means one electron goes to one atom and one goes to the other. So we do one electron going to this chlorine and one electron going to this chlorine. If you notice, I've done a curly arrow with half a head and that um, shows that it's just one electron moving in that direction. So we've then got a chlorine radical and another chlorine radical. And that's our initiation stage. That's the first stage of this reaction. So then we have got um, a chlorine radical which is going to react with our methane. And in our methane, in each of these carbon hydrogen bonds, we've got two electrons, a shared pair of electrons in a covalent bond. So what's going to happen is this chlorine is going to form a bond to this hydrogen. So it's a covalent bond. Covalent bonds need two electrons. So it's one electron from there and one electron from there. And that forms a bond between the chlorine and the hydrogen. And then that leaves the rest of the methane, which is now a methyl group, with an unpaired electron. So that is our methyl radical. So if you look here, we've got a radical here and a radical here. So we've got radicals in the reaction, the reactants and the products. So that's a propagation step. And then, as you saw in the previous video, there are lots of different ways that this reaction could finish or terminate. So one example of this um, is there could be another chlorine radical that could react with um, the methyl radical to form chloromethane. And that's the unpaired electron from the chlorine radical and the unpaired electron from the methyl radical, both going together to form a covalent bond and giving us chloromethane. So that is a termination step. You may remember from the previous video that there's another way that you can form chloromethane um, and if we stick with our methyl radical but in this in this case we react it with a chlorine molecule so no radical there so this in your chlorine molecule again we've got our two electrons in the covalent bond and in this case one of the electrons from the chlorine chlorine covalent bond and the unpaired electron from the methyl radical can be used to form a bond between the carbon and the chlorine. That leaves a chlorine atom with an unpaired electron and forms our chloromethane. So we started with a methyl radical, we finished with a chlorine radical so this step here is another example of propagation.